Okay, we are doing a review and unboxing, sort of unboxing, growing in a box is what we're doing. This organic mushroom grow kit from Back to Roots now includes mushroom activity book and spray bottle. Super cool. So we're going to check those out. It says two times, grows a bonus crop. Watch me grow. A sweet little activity there for your camera phone to scan. 100% guaranteed to grow. That's awesome. So we're going to check into that. It looks like the contents of this is some mushroom spawn. Discovery book spray bottle. Right here, this company. Um, while in seniors in college, we became curious about a fact we learned in class. Gourmet mushrooms could grow on spent coffee grounds and fell in love with the adventures of growing our own food. Love it. Growing your own food is definitely important. Everybody should be at least starting to grow their own food or at least learning how to. Um, now these guys are on a mission to help every family and classroom experience that magic of growing. No big backyard or green thumb needed. We hope you join our journey to grow together. I'm joining your journey, and I'm going to try to show you guys how easy it is to grow these things. Here's all their, their whole lineup of products. Food we grow, food we know. That's a huge fact right there. So food you grow, you know what's in it, you know what's in the time and the labor that's went into it, and you really care about that food, and it helps you connect with your food. Super important thing to do, no matter what you're eating. Discover the magic of growing your own food and check out the Back to Roots website. We actually got these free from or on discount from Social Nature. So check out Social Nature and get yourself some free to discounted products. Really cool. So this is the power of mushrooms. These are oyster mushrooms. They have as much protein as steak by dry weight. So that's really cool, getting some protein that's not... Um, animal is really good when you can. Oyster mushrooms have been used for thousands of years as a delicious culinary and medicinal ingredient. These mushrooms normally grow on fallen trees in the forest, but now you can grow your own right out of the box. Boost your immune system, reduce your cholesterol, and naturally antibacterial. Good deal. Paleo, organic, non-GMO, vegan. Even find recipes. How cool is that? Maybe I'll, I'll share my recipe when I try them. So everything's included. Day one, get started. That's what we're going to do. Open the box, soak bag overnight. Okay, cool. So we're going to open this box, soak the bag overnight. So I'll show you guys what I'm going to do. Oh, here's another message to us. Ready, set, grow. This mushroom kit is 100% guaranteed to grow. Not growing, not a problem. They've got a customer support line to help you out. Hopefully this video is all you need, and hopefully it's not too hard. Get growing some of your own food. Did you know that the largest living organism on the planet is a mushroom? It covers four square miles of an Oregon forest. Wow, that's really cool. So it's probably the inner connectings, the hyphae that connect all the forest together. That's, that's really neat. Since 2010, 5 million pounds of coffee grounds and other organic plant waste have been upcycled into the growing medium for these mushroom farms. That's really cool. Upcycling and reusing is a super important sustainable thing we should all be thinking about and doing. Oh, it's, it's all jumping out at us here. It's exciting. Got the cool back to root spray bottle. That's cool. Not super necessary, but nice. Looks like we got a really cool pamphlet here recipes and it's like instructions it takes about 10 days so we'll get harvesting in about 10 days and I'll show you guys what's growing on so instructions day one start give them light remove the kit cut an X into the bag so one last thing in here I didn't show you guys the bag so it says cut an X into the bag. I'm gonna pause and. All right, 
we got water because it said we'll need that and I went ahead and grabbed a knife got the knife Rooney grab the wife's best glass bowl just so she can get mad at me during this because why not all right cutting an X in the bag and being very careful Didn't do the best job. That's okay. All right, there we go. See there, we got an X. You can even see it. So it smells like mushrooms. I really like that smell. Lift the plastic flaps and lightly scratch away some of the white layer with a fork. I'm gonna go ahead and just do that with the knife here. Scratch away this. Maybe make a couple X's. And breathe in this nice mushroom smell. Mycelium. It smells super yummy. I like dinner. <laughs> Thanks guys for watching. If you made it this far, please like and subscribe. So I'm going to give them a bath for 6 to 10 hours. Then I'm going to remove the bag and probably get back at you guys. Soak it face down in a bowl of water overnight. So here's our bowl of water. I'm just going to go ahead and leave that right there overnight. Just like this. Hey guys, welcome back to day two of the mushroom grow experiment. So what I did was I soaked them. I give them a bath for six to ten hours overnight and then I found them a cozy home that was kind of away from a window but gets a little bit of sunlight and then we'll wait one week for our mushrooms to start growing and in the meantime between we're gonna keep them hydrated with this spray bottle that we got so it sprays it says spray them seven to eight times two times a day. So twice a day we're gonna lift the plastic flaps and use a spray bottle. Um, but before then we are going to finish this step. So we've give them a bath. Now that your mushrooms are woken up, shake off the excess water from the bag and place it back in the grow box. So I noticed that the grow box had this little flap. I kind of pushed it out. So it will be easy for us to remove. And that's where our mushrooms are going to be growing out of, is this little area. So, we've got that ready. It's said to dry the excess off of this. So we got a nice towel to dry some excess off. Alright. So, this is definitely more moist than it was. We're going to put this back into the box like so. And you can see that these flaps are pointing out. We're going to give it a shut and wait seven to ten days it said. I'll show you guys where I'm going to keep it. So this extra mushroom water I'll probably dump in the garden somewhere because it looks like it's really good stuff. And I've got my experiment area. So we've got another mushroom kit going. And then we've got our big mushroom kit going. Which the window's just over here. So it should be enough shade to get some mushrooms growing. And like I said, what we're looking for in about a week is pinning. So your organic mushrooms will pin in one week. Be on the lookout for tiny little white dots that stick out a little from the box like this once you spot them it's time for decision day all right getting ready for decision day there's also lots of fun activities to do in the meantime so we can check those out there's some online at back to roots curriculum and there's also some on the back here so there's like lots of cool stuff teaching you how to upcycle some activities some trivia and some ideas on what to grow next Thanks, guys. See you tomorrow.
Hey guys, welcome back to day four of the mushroom experiment. Here's what the the mushroom experiment's looking like now. Yesterday I sprayed, um, I think it says seven to eight sprays twice a day. So I did that yesterday. I didn't feel like making a video was necessary because I'm going to make one today. And there wasn't much growth, so there wasn't any growth. But this still looks pretty moist, um, especially where the flaps were. So I'm going to go ahead and spray again. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine sprays. Put the flaps back. And then I'm going to put this back in my mushroom kit area that I've got growing on here. So this area is like this. Looks like this. It's kind of next to the window, so you can see the that it gets a little light, but not a lot of light. And we'll check back tomorrow to see if there's anything growing on. Shroom experiment day five. You see we have some pinning going on, is what they called it. That's when the mushrooms start to come up, like this. This is um, a night watering, so this is nighttime, and they're still wet from the last watering. So I'm probably only going to do a few sprays. Seven, it says seven to eight, but I think I'm going to do like maybe five here. Looks really good, nice and moist. It's actually really moist, so that's what mushrooms like. It seems like they grew fast because it said one week, and this is only day five. And they're growing really well so mushrooms do grow in our climate here so that's a good thing but anyways it says once it starts pinning day seven is decision day so exact days may vary with climate like kind of like we just said mushrooms grow good here so it happened a little faster and it says higher temperatures make your mushrooms grow faster so it's also our stove is right over there like 10, 15 feet away. So it's nice and warm right here most of the time. Lower temperatures make them grow slower. More light makes your organic mushrooms richer in color, which is probably more beneficial for you if you get richer colors. Less light makes them more gray. Regular airflow makes your mushrooms have big caps. So where they're at, they get pretty good airflow. We don't have like a fan or going or anything, but it is kind of in the open. And the stove just is kind of pushes air, but it doesn't really blow on it over here. No airflow, like a cabinet, makes them tiny and thin and lanky, it says. Watch your mushrooms grow. After mushrooms pin, they go through a few days of rapid growth as much as doubling each day. Use the ruler to keep track of their size and don't forget to keep misting with a spray bottle twice a day. So I've been misting. Here's pictures of everybody's harvest. I will definitely get uh, a picture of these tomorrow morning for you guys. It's like, you know, definitely not even an inch of growth. But uh, definitely fun and cool. I definitely suggest you guys get one of these. Start growing organic now uh, is a be the uh, you know, uh, the best time. Now is the best time. Now is always the best time to do something and definitely get uh, growing in small spaces and experimenting with gardening and growing edibles. Thanks, guys. We'll check back on these bad boys in the morning. A six of the mushroom experiment. And as you guys can see, we had a lot of growth today and last night. This is the second misting of the day. I'm going to give them their mist. All right. You see they're definitely growing nice and good. It almost kind of looks like a heart. Mushroom love. So we'll put that even with the box. And the ruler says we might have got... Might have got to an inch. Might have got to an inch of growth. Kind of cool. Alright, you guys. I definitely suggest doing this. We will check back tomorrow. And definitely start thinking about recipes. Which they offer some recipes on the back of their pamphlet. 
their website and see you tomorrow hey guys day seven look at the growth really cool it is a morning watering we're gonna spray these bad boys about ten times check that out we'll check back tomorrow day seven again we're doing a night shot because there was some tremendous growth you can kind of see the different colors on the caps the ones that are darker here got more sunlight so our hearts growing for these mushrooms as you can see which is just awesome it seems like they're drying out a little faster than i uh would expect so maybe tomorrow we'll up the sprayage I give them an extra spray each time now but they're growing awesome this has been a really fun experiment the kids have loved it, it looks like we're at about um, easily up to an inch almost two of growth and I set these in the window or not in the window but in my little mushroom area by the window like I've showed you guys standing up so that's why the mushrooms are growing upward so yeah really cool I will check back tomorrow morning most likely so yeah leave these guys out where you can watch them because they've grown a lot today it's day nine I accidentally skipped day eight which honestly was most of the growth of our heart mushrooms here. Sorry about that, but next time I'll make sure to be on it. Looks like tomorrow we will probably be harvesting these bad boys and trying out some mushroom uh, saute. Thanks again, you guys, for watching. Like and subscribe if you've made it this far, and make sure to keep on growing organic. Pretty cool stuff. Day 10, harvest day. I did notice the mushrooms are getting a little bit brown on the tops. So it's definitely time to harvest them. Check it out. Pretty cool, they're definitely done and ready to eat. Probably should have even ate them maybe yesterday. But for harvesting these puppies, they say to just twist and pull, which in my experience is not the best, I think, method. So we're going to use a knife, which is suggested for adults only, and just give them a chop here. So what I'm going to do is just chop them at box level, just like that. As you see, I got a big old mushroom mass there. And I'll chop these other ones off. And what I'm going to do with the extra is it said to just redo the process and possibly get more. So what I'll do is try that. What I think I'm going to do is use the back of the bag. So I'll cut another X, soak it, and see if I can get more. And you'll have to watch, like, and subscribe for maybe another video to see that. But anyways, there's the harvest. We got lots of them. Definitely enough for a good meal. And there's the leftover mushroom kit. Thanks guys for watching. The overall review was this was a, a fantastic experiment. The kids really loved watching the mushrooms grow and definitely wa loved watering them and maybe even a little grossed out by them, but it was all in the name of science and, and good fun. So definitely suggest doing this and growing some nice food in your window. Thanks guys, keep on growing organic.